thanks to the success of Fifty Shades of Grey, sadomasochism is suddenly all the rage. While I am positively baffled by the success of those books, I do know a thing or two about taking pain for pleasure. As somebody who enjoys being tied up by an uber-tough 2D platformer like N Plus or Super Meat Boy, I'm used to taking the punishment. I thrive on the satisfied feeling that comes with finally overcoming what looked like an impossible obstacle. After seven long years, MetaNet Software has returned with my newest addiction. Cheekily named N++, the Canadian developers have used one of the most powerful consoles to create a simplistic 2D game starring a stick figure ninja. But don't let the bare bones look fool you, because this really is the pinnacle of precision platforming. And with more than a thousand stages and an online level editor, N++ is one of the most complete packages of any game released so far this year. As the stick figure ninja in question, your goal is to run through the level, dodge all the obstacles, touch the switch to open the door, and then rush back to exit the stage. You start with only 90 seconds, but will pick up extra time by grabbing the floating gold pieces. If the tiny ninja can make it through five challenging stages before time runs out, a new area will be unlocked and he'll continue his quest to run the board. Each stage is no more than a single screen. There are no checkpoints and, in theory, it shouldn't take more than a few seconds to complete each level. But N++ has no interest in making it easy on our ninja hero. The stages are filled with spikes, lasers, monsters, missile launchers, and all kinds of other deadly obstacles. Of all the horrible paces the game put me through, my favorite was a clone of myself. It's a recreation that perfectly mimics my movements, making it difficult to retrace my steps. With all the obstacles to overcome, you might think that N++ gives our hero a generous arsenal of moves. Well, that's not the case. Our little stick figure ninja doesn't throw stars, slide under objects, or somersault to victory. Instead, what he does is run and jump. He can also leap off of walls, sort of like Ryu Hayabusa in Ninja Gaiden. This is a game about finding solutions using precise jumping and a well-honed understanding of how our ninja controls. By reducing the game down to its most basic design, the developers have been able to create an experience that's all about the gameplay. The ninja has a distinct feel that is often propelled by his momentum. He has a floaty jump that can be controlled in the air for pixel-perfect landings. And the wall jump is not only useful for reaching out-of-the-way platforms, but breaking what could be a life-ending fall. However, until you've mastered the control, the game can feel downright sadistic. Hell, even after you've become one with the ninja, the levels can be real mean. This is especially true if you're the type of person who wants to grab all the gold bars before exiting the stage. The designs are cruel and meant to be played over and over until you finally get it. There's no feeling more satisfying than overcoming an obstacle that once looked impossible. N++ is split up into three unique sections, each with their own board of platforming puzzles to solve. It starts out with the intro episodes where the game spends more than 100 stages easing you into the mechanics and obstacles. When you're done with that, or simply want to move on to the main course, the N++ episodes will put your training into action. And just for good measure, the game adds the Legacy episodes, which are levels pulled from the two previous installments. I guess what I'm saying is that this PlayStation 4 game has a lot of content. Actually, there are way more levels than the single-player campaign lets on. N++ offers what could be an endless barrage of stages to download. While easy to use, designing my own stages reinforce that I'm better at playing games than creating them. But for the creative types, there are enough tools here to make any type of platforming puzzle. Much like earlier installments, N++ offers both multiplayer co-op and race modes. As chaotic as this sounds, it's a great way to show off who has the best ninja skills. And even if you're a solo player, the game does a great job of implementing leaderboards for every stage grouping. I'm not sure this will ever have a big competitive scene, but I appreciate the effort. With tight handling and an overwhelming selection of stages, N++ is a near-perfect 2D platformer. 
It trades flashy graphics for a precise gameplay that rewards patience and practice. Sure, it can be punishing at times, but it's also deeply rewarding and one of the most satisfying experiences you'll have all year. I can't even imagine what N++ could do to top this. Hey, thanks for watching me gush over N++. After so many disappointments recently, it's great to finally play a sequel that lives up to the hype. Anyway, this is just one of the reviews we posted this week. On Monday I debuted my Legend of K Anniversary review, and then Tuesday brought Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds Overdrive. What will Wednesday bring? Deception 4 The New Princess. And there are some other reviews we're going to work in there as well. But that's what's going on right now. So go ahead and subscribe and support what we're doing here. Until then.